afternoon. This day has literally just gotten away from me. I was editing this morning and I was kind of a little bit behind. I already knew that. Plus day number four is kind of a chunk to edit because I was with like my mom and stuff. There's just a lot of content to get through. I got through half the video last night, fell asleep at 10, and then I woke up this morning around like seven, which is sleeping in technically vlogma style. Um, and I was like, I'm gonna finish by nine. And then I was like, no, 10. And then it's like 11, 12. I also cleaned my house this morning, just got some stuff done that I need to get done. And now we're back on track, but it's currently one o'clock, which is fine, whatever. We do have a sponsor for today's video and that is Seed. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. They are an amazing company. This is really, really cool. I actually switched this out for my probiotic because this makes the most sense. So let me explain. This is a daily symbiotic. So a symbiotic is a probiotic and a prebiotic mixed together. Probiotic is like that healthy bacteria for your gut and it's really good for a whole bunch of different stuff like digestion, your immune support, like all that stuff. Um, but the prebiotic is the like food that nourishes the probiotic. Think of the prebiotic as like fertilizer for the probiotic. So it's a capsule in a capsule. It's like a two in one. You get the probiotic and the prebiotic in the same pill. Because it's a capsule in a capsule, it protects it all the way down to your small intestine. So it makes sure that it gets to where it needs to go. When you take a probiotic, it can actually not even get to the small intestine because a whole bunch of stuff that goes into the process of breaking down the stuff that you put in your body. So this just really helps ensure that it's getting to where it needs to go. I also love the packaging. It's so cute, nice and green. And then this is what the capsule looks like. I just took two. They make sure that everything that goes into their packaging and their products is sustainable. They even give you like monthly refills in a sustainable package. And then this is refillable. So you just refill it every single month. They're actually giving you guys 15% off your first monthly supply of the daily symbiotic. If you click on the link in my description box and use the promo code Renee 15 at checkout. I'm really into like focusing on my health now, making sure that my gut is all safe and all that jazz. So probiotic and a prebiotic now is a must. I actually just got a ton of stuff for a closet revamp. Um, my closet's an actual disaster. It's kind of embarrassing. Okay, let me explain. I mean, there's some explanation. It's a freaking disaster. This has just become my storage closet and it's just awful. So we're gonna like work through this. First things first, I'm gonna put this stuff into my new dresser. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this stuff. I think I'm just gonna use the guest bedroom as more of a storage space because I want my closet to just be mainly for my stuff. Clothes are actually somewhat organized. This is a hot mess. This is a hot mess. This is a hot mess and this is actually okay. That that's another hot mess up there, an even bigger hot mess. So I ended up actually ordering a couple stuff on Amazon. I got a hamper, like a four tier hamper. I also got an ottoman, like a little bench. And then I also got like a shoe organizer. So I'm gonna put this stuff together before we even get started on the mess of the closet. <laughs> Okay, we got the pieces all built. This is the four tier hamper. Why is this like weird? Oh, I put this one on backwards. There we go. This is actually so freaking cute. This is all from Amazon. I'll link all this stuff down below, but this is a bench. We're gonna do something fun with this. And then this is the shoe organizer. The bottom piece comes out, which I really like because we can put boots in there. So yeah, let's go tackle that freaking closet. So I think I'm just gonna gut it just throw everything onto my bed. Okay. We got all the stuff out here. Stuff here. I got some furniture here. This needs to go into the guest room. Shoes are gonna be first, I think. So this is what we're working with. Everything is just empty. Clothes are hanged. I need to organize them, honestly. I actually need to take these down. Okay, so let's do the shoes first. I'm gonna bring in the shoe organizer. Santa Claus pulled up, come get the loot. You better 
better than what you what you do. None of that list you got to go go through. Are you being good having you? Santa Claus pulled up, come get the loot. You better be watching what you do. None of that list you got to go go through. You being good having you. I'm not trying to put demons in your mind. Okay, it's nice and set up. I'm like so excited. So it's all done looks so good so i just like organized all my hanging clothes over here it just goes jackets sweaters long sleeve there's some short sleeves in there and just like basic everyday tops um hamper fit perfectly right here so the reason i got four tiers was because i want something for towels delicates darks and whites i ended up putting these two shelves here that i also found on amazon which i really like they're the same exact piece um and i just put my books in here and these four are actually empty which is perfect i put the bench here i'm gonna eventually put maybe a piece of art or something with some pillows but that'll be another time and then this little section here is just that ikea line drawer set that everyone has um, my suitcases and stuff shoes are looking real good got my socks here jewelry as always is on the top the little mirror here hats and purses and stuff up here sunglasses my dad and then this is like PR stuff that I want to give away I have like hair care stuff and just other jewelry pieces in here this is empty which is great I love having empty drawers this is all makeup um, that I don't use I actually have my like everyday makeup over in the other drawers by the bathroom um, this this is face like skincare stuff <sighs> nails and my heating pad medicine and then this is just like tech stuff and I think this is more office yeah more office Ugh. all right so I am done that actually took way longer than I thought I'm gonna clean up a little bit I still have some stuff out and I think I'm gonna hop in the shower and just do like a ton of self-care because it's just one of those days I'm kind of like a little bit behind and the minute I got up I had to work today and I was just I've just been working non-stop I just need a little time to myself so I think I'm gonna do that I just got out of the shower. I had myself a nice little self-care day or hour. Exfoliated. I had like one of those showers that was just like so hot. I was listening to like very calm, peaceful music. Put on myself tanner. Like I just feel really good. I'm almost done editing this video. And then I'm gonna like hit the hay. I'm gonna try my best to finish it tonight just because I want to wake up without having to work for once and just like start fresh with a new video tomorrow and not have to like wake up super early. I feel like the last two days were very busy. So now I'm like, I just wanna catch up so that I'm like back on track, but I'm still two videos ahead, which is great. So I'm going to end the night with our letters to a star seed. Let's go ahead and just flip to a page. Okay, finding our ground. Many of the souls incarnate our earth right now have been incarnating on earth for some time. Returning over and over again in an attempt to influence this very time we've woken up to. Some have been awakened from their slumber earlier than others in preparation. Others have been abruptly ripped from their sleep. This time that was long ago predicted is actually here. Today, tomorrow, the day after. These are those days and we're waking up more and more with each coming one. When you wake up, it can feel disorienting and difficult to find your ground. Yet the more grounded you remain during these changing times, the more helpful you can be. Be dedicated to finding your ground, to calling all parts of you fully here. The calmer you feel, the calmer others will feel around you. I actually heard that one time I was like dealing with stress or anxiety and they're like, people are just going to match you where you are. So if you're giving out that energy, it is going to be awkward. Like if you just go into it thinking confidence or go into a situation thinking success, like that's what you're going to put out and that's what you're going to receive. The steadier you feel, the steadier others will feel around you. The safer you feel, the safer others will feel around you. At this time of great change, we must work harder than ever to find our ground. And then they have a star seed activation. So I guess this is like a little prayer or affirmation. I fully commit to being here. I call all parts of my mind, my body, and my soul to this moment. I show up each and every day to what grounds and calms me. Finding our ground. It's being confident in who you are. Knowing who you are. All right, guys. I'm going to go to bed. I know this is kind of a shorter video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I literally didn't even leave my apartment except to go get my groceries this morning. But other than that, not really. I went on my patio for a bit, which is like, so I'm so grateful that I have this. I did not have a patio in 2020 and I was just stuck, like literally inside a freaking high rise. <laughs> it was so bad. I really, really am grateful for a patio now. Just being able to like at least catch a breath outside. But tomorrow we have a pretty busy day. Um, and yeah, I just want to wake up and just be nice and calm. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.